All right, so this is in reference, you, well, you read the title. This is in reference to Godzilla vs. Kong. And, you know, every time I, every, it's like every time I look at these trailers, you always see at least, I swear, at least 10 people, at least 10 people in the comments saying, whoa, did you see that, dude? Oh, man, that, I bet you that's totally Mecha Godzilla. Or, whoa, did you see how he used his atomic breath? Man, that's really awesome. I bet you that's totally Mecha Godzilla. Or, whoa, did you see that tail smack? I bet you that's totally Mecha Godzilla. And it's like, all right, guys, and I, I'm really not here to, like, just recklessly shit on anybody's optimism. I, I honestly, I, 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 I get it. You know, I, 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 I understand that that lovely movie Godzilla nineteen. I mean, excuse me, Godzilla uh, versus Mega Godzilla nineteen seventy four. Total, total classic. Nostalgia, the feels, everything. I, I get it. And this is basically playing on, playing a little bit on our, our on our nostalgia. You know, but. Again, let's apply a little critical thinking skills. Let's let's apply some critical thinking skills here. So first off, I'm I'm basically here to debunk the the theory. I'm sorry, it's not Mecha Godzilla. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry. And here are the following for the following reasons for the following reasons. Okay. So if you guys haven't been paying attention to the formula that Legendary has been doing with the MonsterVerse thus far, they basically, what they do, they pay homages to the older films. Like, they, they definitely pay homages to the older films, but they don't follow the exact same formula. What do I mean by that? Well, for starters, uh, for, a lot of, for a lot of movies, for a lot of the movies in the early show on movies, well, actually, in a lot of, yeah, in a lot of movies, Godzilla's a bad guy, okay? And thus far, now granted, he is, again, it's theorized that he's triggered by something. I, I don't want to say brainwashed, but he's triggered by something. I think it's Ghidorah's brainwaves. Maybe he's sensing Ghidorah's brainwaves because they're using it for Mega Godzilla. Who knows? That's just my theory. But I would argue that he's even still considered the good guy here, Okay. Now, in a lot of the older to Toho movies, he's just a straight-up bad guy. He's a villain. Okay, so that's a good. That's another example of them remixing something. Okay, uh, two. Remember when Godzilla Two was first being announced before, way before it was even released. Godzilla: King of the Monsters. It was announced that they got the rights for Mothra, Rodan, Ghidorah, and Godzilla. Obviously, they sold it. Everybody just assumed, whoa, and I remember this very clearly too. Everybody just assumed, whoa, they have all these monsters. They got Rodan, they got Mothra, they got Godzilla, the end, they got Ghidorah. This is going to be a, a total remake of Ghidorah, the three-headed monster. What happened? It was not. It was not a remake of Ghidorah, the three-headed monster at all, actually. Granted, they paid homages you know, they there were some elements in the film where, again, like it was a nice, maybe at best a slight homage to the older movie. But Rodan, Rodan was a minion of Ghidorah. Okay, Rodan was a minion of Ghidorah. He did not come to Godzilla's side until the very end, where Godzilla killed him, killed uh, Ghidorah. Okay. Rodan was a straight up minion in Godzilla 2 and Godzilla King of the Monsters, okay? That's that, that's a that's an example of me um basically saying that they legendary they like to remix things, okay? And it, it's very it's in fact it's very common with a lot of I don't want with a lot of entertainment pieces these days, uh, in particular comic book movies. They remix things all the time, guys, because they don't want things to be too predictable. Now, why do I bring, again, why do I bring up this remixing thing? Guys, don't you think it's a little bit too predictable uh, for it to be Mecha Godzilla? Like in those shots where, in those in those trailer shots where they're fighting on, on the, oh man, what do you call it? It's not a boat. The name is literally escaping me right now. I'm very tired. But when Godzilla and Kong are like fighting 
in the ocean on top of that craft, that uh, that carrier. Guys, I, I highly doubt that that is Mechagodzilla. I highly doubt it. Because if you just consider the practicality of it, what would be, what would be the purpose of like the human characters taking their sweet time to create a synthetic Godzilla skin to disguise Mechagodzilla to frame Godzilla. Now, granted, in Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla in the se the 70s movie, it made a little, little bit more sense. Like, you know, they were... A it was of alien origin. They were obviously trying to frame Godzilla and mess with the minds of the humans and everything. What was what's what's the literal point of it being Mecha God of it being Mecha Godzilla in disguise? But what what would be the point, guys? I, I, what would be the point? What would be the point? So, somebody like literally answer answer this for me. I I I, I don't get it. Okay, that uh, like. You know, these theories of it just being Mechagodzilla in disguise is, is getting a little bit out of hand. And th this is probably my final and best point. Guys, I hate, I know a lot of you probably hate to consider this fact, but this could very well be the last major movie of the MonsterVerse. Okay? It could be. With that being said, it would make more sense for them to totally milk the appearances of each respective protagonist here. I'm talking about Godzilla and Kong. It would make the most sense to show them the most. And you're basically saying since it's Mecha Godzilla in disguise, basically we're being cheated in a way. Like it's it's Godzilla but it's not. It's Mecha Godzilla because he's totally in disguise. So, and then also that brings up another hypothetical. Where would our Godzilla be? Is he captured? Like, I, I highly doubt he's captured, you know? Where would our Godzilla be? It, it, there, there's too many questions here, folks. Too many questions. And again, for somebody that brings up the 70s Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, oh, well, Godzilla didn't show up until later in that film. Yeah, well, there was he was on Monster Island, probably. He's probably on Monster Island. He had to come back uh, to Japan. It, I mean, he lived on Monster Island at the time. Thus far, in Godzilla vs. Kong, it's not established that Godzilla is just living on another island. Okay? So I, I'm i just going to, you know, flatten that theory out, out, out there. Because, man, I, I know, I know uh, everybody likes to bring up all types of different theories. Uh, man. It's really amazing. Again, guys, I'm just encouraging you to like apply a little critical thinking here. Just a little critical thinking. You you have to consider, because th this theory is really getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. You have to consider what Legendary has been doing thus far. As far as, especially uh, as far as Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I mean, just that title alone, Godzilla King of the Monsters, what did, first of all, I didn't think this, but like by that same logic, you would assume that that movie would have followed the original Godzilla King of the Monsters by the book, you know, uh, verse for verse, uh, characters. Heck, they, speaking of which, Sarazawa, they remixed him. They, they totally, in a, you know, kind of twisted his character a little bit. Um, instead of sacrificing himself to defeat Godzilla, he sacrificed himself to save Godzilla and revive him. This is what Legendary does, folks. They remix things. They constantly remix things because things would be... And I feel like they do it because it would be way too predictable if you just knew what was going to happen. They do it all the time in entertain, entertainment mediums, all the time, especially in comic book movies. They constantly remix formulas, remix plot devices all the time. With all that being said, folks, I highly doubt, again, I highly doubt, I highly doubt, I highly doubt that those scenes in the Godzilla vs. Kong trailers feature Mechagodzilla in disguise.
that is not, I'm here to say. And I, I'll probably even make an apology video if I'm wrong, which I doubt I am. It is, it's not Mechagodzilla in disguise. Okay, this could very well be the last movie of the MonsterVerse. It would make more sense to show as much Godzilla and as much Kong as possible.